All right, what is up, you guys? It is yours truly, Vincent, back after about a week or two weeks of being away from YouTube. And, um, you know, again, I've been searching for content during those two weeks, trying to figure out what I want to upload. And, well, I think I found it because I watched a minute of this video. I watched, like, I want to say around 20 to 30 seconds of this video. And, uh, yeah, it got me laughing, and, um, I hope it'll get you laughing, too. This is a woman, oh, let me go back. This is a woman who was happily married to a carnival ride, and this is not Cap. She is happily married to a carnival ride, and I will, um, and I will tell you this, uh, this is has nothing to do with the video in question but I do have this hooked up to my Bluetooth speaker that I have right beside me so it might be a little loud on my end but I'm just doing this so that way y'all have a better audio quality and so that way maybe y'all can hear my voice a little bit better but without any further ado let's begin my name is Linda I'm 56 years old I live outside of Tampa, Florida with my husband of three years. I am happily married to a carnival ride called a skydiver. All right, so she's married to a carnival ride called a skydiver. And here I am thinking that when she says, hi, I live outside of Tampa, Florida, and um, I've been happily married for three years, I'm thinking, oh, she's about to show us a nice-looking man, you know? A man probably her age who... Treats her well, right? So she's walking out back to this pretty big, what looks like a carnival ride, which, yeah, I was right. It looked like a carnival ride, and it is a carnival ride. And I'm sitting over here thinking that, that her husband is just going to come walking out of a shed after doing some work, and he's going to be like, hi, honey, and she's going to be like, this is my husband. No. No. She proceeds to walk out and tell us that she's married to a gosh darn carnival ride called Skydiver. Let's continue. His name is Bruce, and we've known each other since 1981. Linda is one of the rare people who identify as objectism, sexual, or OS. OS people have romantic attractions to intimate objects, which, oh, this just got my gears turned, and we are going to make a couple videos about this, and I'm not trying to exploit these people or anything, I'm just saying that their stories are really funny, and it's good content for my channel, a channel that specifically runs off of comedy. My first relationship was with an airplane. <laughs> the last serious relationship I had before I met Bruce was with a locomotive. Uh, Her first relationship was with an airplane? <laughs> um... <laughs> I'm concerned on so many levels. And then her second relationship was with a gosh darn diesel locomotive? I have no words. This is just... That didn't work out. I'm curious to know. Some women like tall men. Some women like men with a colorful personality. He's got all of that, you know, and to me... Lady, carnival rides are not tall, and they do not have a colorful personality. I'm just here to tell you that right now. Here's what you go do. You go to Tampa, go to a bar, get yourself looking nice. You study a couple pickup lines off of YouTube, and then you go to the bar and use that. Okay? Um, I mean, Bruce is just amazing when he stands up and, and, and just being spread out. When he stands up and is just being spread out. Excuse me? No! Like any married couple, Lin uh, Linda and Bruce share intimate I moments. I feel closer to... They share intimate moments with each other. I don't want to know how that... I I don't want to know how that works, TLC. 
Bruce when I can spend the nights being near parts of him that I can physically touch. So I usually set up a table in here and a candlelight dinner. It's really nice being in here with him. Sexuality is not the driving motivation in, in my marriage to Bruce. It's the feeling in my heart. I decided to do a commitment ceremony. It's not a legal binding state marriage, but it's one in my heart. We're just an old couple. We're a sweet old couple. Walmart's deals for days isn't... Um... Well, I think that was the end of the video, and, um, you know, I don't know whether I should feel concerned, bad, or happy for her, because part of me wants to feel happy for her, part of me wants to feel bad for her, but then there's another part of me that's just saying, the hell? Um, but... I think that was the end of the video. I'm not sure because this ad about Walmart just came up. But, um, I'm going to go upload this now. Um, and I hope that y'all enjoy the video. I hope that y'all get a kick out of it and just get something out of uh, today's video. And I hope it gets y'all laughing. Anyway, I will see y'all later. Goodbye.